right? We uh, analyzed our project, and it was the DS Lite uh, Elven Luke I. And so what I did, I did the stylus holder piece. Steven did the D-pad. Lucas did the battery back piece. And this is us taking apart. So this is basically the whole part of the DS minus the battery, and then uh, this was the back piece. That's where it went, and it's taken out. It's not in that picture. Um, that was the front of it. This is what I've called the back, the bottom, and the top. There's my piece, and that's where it went. That's where the battery went in. Uh, certain boards and stuff. Or, uh, yeah. And uh, back piece. It took a lot of trouble taking it apart because the tri screws and we didn't have any tri screws or uh, butt heads small enough to use. So a lot of the screws were put into like the back panels and we had to break most of those off. And there's Elvin's piece, it would have slid in right here. And Steven's piece was that right there and it uh, was behind the front panel. So, uh, like they said, I did the D-pad. Uh, the volume was exactly the same, and so was the area. And the mass was too close to have any effect. And then the density, I had to look that one up, because my density kept giving me, like, a really off number. It's like 2.9. So. I looked that up and it said the average density of what I assumed was ABS plastic I had up here gave me 1.04 grams per centimeter cube. So that's not what you kept it. No, I couldn't get it. Yeah, never mind. Anyway. So uh, recyclable, yes, it was recyclable. And the hardness, if you want to get really technical, the it was 103 to 112 and the grade count was three, but you know. I like the word scratchable, so I just put the word scratchable up there. Now, what is, what is a D-pad for some of us non-DS oh, players? Oh, uh, the directional pad, it's a little plus sign kind of looking. Oh, that, that yeah. yeah, go up and down, back and forth like that? Yeah, and okay. it's on basically every controller. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have a picture of it because we lost it. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's, it's, it looks like this. Okay. Uh, the function is for video games and handheld consoles. You can press on each side of the D-pad, up, down, left, right, and it will usually uh, do that function. Uh, the operating procedure, you just press on the sides of the D-pad. Um, the environmental, or the environment that it would usually take place in is like a household, um, room temperature, no, uh, nothing threatening pretty much. Um, the cost, the cost of ABS plastic per pound was 2.42 and the weight of the piece was 0 .001 pounds. So, I calculated the price, it was 0 0.00242 cents, or uh, dollars. <clears throat> uh, the manufacturing origin is located at Foxconn, and I know this says Massachusetts here, but that's the wrong Foxconn. <laughs> uh, the link takes you to the one in China, so yeah. Um, the lifestyle of the product is it's made to withstand. Oh, I never finished that. It's <laughs> made to withstand um, all of this here, all of this pressure. Like yeah, all these different types of pressure. Pressure. Uh, this is my 3D. Um, yeah, yeah. Inventor. Yeah, this is all the faces of it. Multi-view, yes, thank you. The multi-view of my piece. Um, that's the front there. It really doesn't matter. There's the right side, the top, and then here's the, yep, the back. Here's my handmade sketches. Pretty beautiful, I know. 
Um, I had estimated uh, measurements there. They're probably not very close to what I just had. And then my other views here. So what I did, I did the stylus holder piece. The mass was 0.95 grams, and the mass on there it was pretty close to it. I'm pretty sure uh, in grams, so it would have been like 0.98, I think. But in here, it rounded it to grams. Volume, I had 2.3 milliliters, which is almost the same thing there. The area, I had 5.6, which is basically the same thing that they had there. I found out that it was recyclable because it was ABS plastic. So the hardest, it can be scratched. And I don't know if you can see it on the top sketch up there, but there, I, there was like a little scratch on the side near the bottom. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, I found out you can bend it, but it'll go back to this place unless you put like too much pressure onto it, which then it would break. Uh, the material is made out of. I guess ABS plastic. Now, when I looked it up, I found out that basically the whole Nintendo, other than like the uh, circuits and that stuff, was made out of ABS plastic. The use was to hold the stylus so you don't lose it. And like, if you had the stylus piece, you could just uh, put it in there and it like clip so it doesn't fall out. Its origin was from Foxconn in China, where everything about it was made. The cost was basically kind of double Stevens, so it was 0 .0084. <clears throat> Alright, so this is my battery case back piece. Um, fortunately, my inventor disappeared for some strange reason, but uh, I did do some tests. It, it was ABS plastic, like I said, said, everything, basically everything was ABS plastic, and so it's recyclable. Uh, it's not magnetic and uh, it's not a very good conductor of electricity. Um, it was scratchable. Uh, I found that the shiny side really showed scratches more rather than the back face of it. And um, the function of it, of course, would be to hold the battery in place while the battery will get some running. Um, the operating procedure basically was a uh, cover for the battery and you could there was a screw that held it in and if you unscrewed and took off the piece you could take the battery out and replace it if it ever went bad. And the environment for it was daily, daily household environments and um, most DSs are made for ages 5 and up. So I would expect maybe a kid to drop it sometime. And uh, Steve, I think Stephen found the cost for ABS plastic. Uh, which was 2.42 uh, dollars per pound, and uh, manufacturing origin was Foxconn, which is in China, and uh, product lifestyle may experience drops from anyone five and up, I would say, and maybe they throw it every once in a while, and the battery may release some heat. Uh, so these are the pictures I took before I lost all of my inventor stuff. Um, this was like the multi-view stuff. Um, so this would I would call the front face of it. Uh, it's got two little prongs here, which you slide in, and then this is the hole for the screw. Uh, I don't know why it has a weird shape. I think it has to do with the battery. And that's basically it. It's actually black. I had to use gray. You couldn't see it. Of it. I did find out who lost your parts. Nick Batani. How'd he lose it? Nick Batani came in to work on the computer and crashed the whole thing. <laughs> now, of course, if you had the parts saved like in the cloud, yeah. then. I don't trust the cloud. Yeah, so. Flash drive. Oh, he meant the computer. So, currently, Nintendo DS lights, they go for $130 on like Amazon if you want to buy a new one. The harness, which we said before, it can be scratched because it is it is plastic. It is recyclable and you can get almost is any part online other than like the main actual components on the inside. How do you spell Nintendo? 
Yeah, he's all Nintendo. He's done that like every single time. The first time he did it. Hold a minute. I want to. I want to zoom in on this. Nintendo. It's the spin-off version of Nintendo. It's like. Okay. Can you watch it? That's it. That's it. Any questions? Questions oh, for him? Yeah. Um, so you said you lost your part in the inventor. Did you lose the physical part too? You no, we still. Steven lost his part. We don't know what happened to Steven's Why didn't you have your master?